Super Bowl Sunday. I mean, we're like an hour away from kickoff. Who you rooting for? Place your team down in the comments below. I know some of you are going to be watching this after the Super Bowl the next day. Anyways, I just wanted to jump up here and do a quick Iraqi Dinar update. This is my Telegram group. And hey, there was another object shot down over the Great Lakes. I think this is number four, but I've been reading number three. This is crazy what's going on. You can go to Fox News and read up about it. Go ahead and search it. But I, but what I want to start with is yesterday. Yesterday, I sent this out in the group what took place on Saturday, and I'm just going to quickly summarize and then move on to what's happening today. The governor of the CBI of the International Monetary Fund discussed the development of the Iraqi banking sector. And as you know, Iraq and their delegates, including Alak, including Hussein, the foreign minister, are in Washington, or maybe they're on their way back. I'm not really sure. But Hussein said in Washington, the budget is completed and it's going to be sent to parliament within three weeks, whatever that means, right? But keywords coming from Washington committed to applying international standards in combating money laundering. Also, members of Congress call on Biden to punish Iraqi banks involved in dollar smuggling. And this is really interesting. Not sure if I really give it a thumbs up. JP Morgan to facilitate payments to Iraqi banking systems to China. And the governor, Alok of CBI, takes pictures with vice chairman of the board of directors of JP Morgan Bank. Also, the IQD did go back up the wrong way. It was in between 1515 and 1495 to the $1 in Baghdad, this was showing it, it did fluctuate the wrong direction, but let's give it some time. And that's what's happening so far as of yesterday. KRG delegation arrives in Baghdad for talks on the budget, the hydrocarbon laws. Article 140, this is a good thing. We want this. We want these talks to happen. Chairman of the Integrity Commissions, we have President of Iraq here. They're saying they recovered large funds dating back to the time of the previous regime. Governor of the Central Bank of Iraq launching a second package to facilitate uh, to support the exchange rate. U.S. Federal Reserve Bank and the U.S. Treasury Department in Washington and two parties expressed their readiness to work together to meet challenges in working on this electronic platform for remittance and cash, according to the statement of the CBI. The delegation of the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank and the U.S. Treasury Department discuss a number of support and supporting mechanisms for the Central Bank of Iraq. Also, the U.S. Bank confirmed these measures and the CBI are in the right direction to build a sober banking sector. I mean, you got to like what's happening. I, I just want to, to mention that we're moving in the right direction, whether we like it or not. In some regards, Al Sudani is uh, doing whatever he can to make things happen. He, Al Kazemi didn't have a lot what's taken place. This is their 100th day as uh, the prime minister. So he's taken examples from the U.S. government. They have the 100 day mark and he's trying to get it done. Kurdistan reveals the results of the meeting meeting with the Federal Ministry of Oil. Al-Sudani quickly directs the completion of the project linked to the entire economy of Iraq. After adjusting large quantities of Kurdistan, finance warns citizens against counterfeit currency. And that's going to be a big issue now with the fluctuation. What's just taken place over the last 30 days, you can expect some of those uh, counterfeits to be coming out. And then the KRG says Baghdad and Herbal will resume oil talks next week. Let's hope for the best with that. Would like to see some, some common ground met between these two. Because really, that's what pays all these salaries. Hey, enjoy the Super Bowl. Hope your team wins. And until next time, you know, stay rapid.